just because I'm young and you know I'm a mom so I feel like my daughter's future is important as well as mine. Um, it's just your civic duty. I mean you live in the country. You gotta have a part in what goes on. I think that because Trump's been president before, he probably had a leg up and because she is a minority in multiple ways, a lot of people weren't going to vote for her. So, I mean, I was kind of like, it was inevitable to me in my opinion, but I voted for Kamala. So, I mean, I was hoping for it to be different than it was. I was a little disappointed, but I mean, it was expected. You know, I'm, I'm interested to see in the next week or so how publicly people are going to be like, acting in public and, and I mean as far as like 2020 I remember there were people like going through the streets yelling things so I'm interested and concerned to see what will happen. You know I've been around for a lot of elections and they've never been as controversial as what's going on right now but we've had good presidents we've had bad presidents and the one thing about this country is we only get them for four years. And that no matter what happens, they're only gonna be here for four years. And we're gonna have another president. And a lot of people are kind of freaking out about this and they don't need to be because we're America and no matter what happens, we're not gonna crumble. We're not gonna fall. We need to rely on one another and support one another in each other's decisions. just like what I've heard from my family which is obvious bias to some degree um, if prices go down big if I, I don't know for sure that would be nice <laughs> but if anything happens to like marginalized groups because the border crisis was not very handled correctly by him I don't think in my opinion and I feel like there's some dehumanization from one party that's not really Rampant in the other party? Um, I think the economy might get better, but I also think like certain like unethical things could happen again. It's gonna be all negative. I I think most people know that 2016, his run in 2016 wasn't very good. The border was not very good. And I feel like that's only gonna be heightened because now he has more time. Um, I know in 2016 he was trying to get rid of the ACA and I feel like that's going to happen at this point because he has a lot of people in the Senate now. It's, it's like an all kind of red thing going on now and I feel like they're really going to push that forward and the ACA is good for people. It kind of like combats institutions like insurance companies and they're predators on people, especially when people need health care, they can be predators. So I feel like he's going to make that happen, the insurance companies are going to get their way and people aren't going to get health care and that's, that's not great to me. Um, the only thing that I could add is that I feel like we've already built a community around um, not even just like the Democratic Party but like women and the LGBT, LGBTQIA plus community. I feel like we've already established like some support and our community is growing every day and just because we have like um, the outcome wasn't that great I feel like we have so much support and people that we can lean on and there's so, just so much love that we can produce ourselves instead of just how the election came out so, but yeah